we go. So today's uh, workout, all right? Um, we're gonna do it called failure sets. Kind of, basically it's like an AMRAP, only instead of the goal of getting as many rounds as possible, you're actually trying to get almost as few rounds as possible without stopping work. So what you're gonna do is you have five minutes, okay? And for each set you have an A and B exercise. You're gonna do A exercise as long as you can until you need to rest. As soon as you need to either stop to shake out your legs, take a breath, uh, change your cadence, you know, if you're, you know, you need to stop at any point, that's when you change to exercise B, all right? At that point, you'll do exercise B as long as you can until, again, you need to and change position, all right? So your rest time, you take your rest in between, and then you go into the next exercise, all right? So instead of going back and forth as many times as possible, your goal is to try to go as few rounds as possible without actually stopping work. Okay, so you're gonna to try to do the exercise A as long as you can. All right, then you're gonna to try to do the exercise B as long as you can, and then back to exercise A, and you go back and forth, you know, similar like a little map, but with the goal of being less rounds, all right, as opposed to more rounds. All right, does that make sense? We're good with those ones? Everybody looks so excited for that one. <laughs> All right. You know, at least first, at least burpees are first. And if you're awesome and you can do five minutes nonstop of burpees without changing cadence or anything, congratulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so let's uh, break these ones down. All right. All right. So if you don't have a wall accessible for you guys to like, kind of go on to, all right, you can do a static um, squat. Obviously, the wall sit would be a little bit easier, uh, especially like say like on your back or something, because you would lay back against the wall and just use those legs. Okay. Oh so, going through our exercises, set one. All right, a exercise. All right, we have our burpees. Same goal. Going down, hop down, you climb right back up. All right, making sure, guys. Like I said, if your cadence changes, that means like if my burpees are here, this is the speed I'm going. And as soon as I decide to slow down my cadence, that's my rest. Right? That means I slow down, I should go to my wall set at that point in time, okay? So, you have your burpees, all right? If I can't go down to the floor without arching my lower back, I'll do a plank burpee, okay? Once I uh, need my recovery or my rest there, I'll take a quick breath, then I'm gonna drop into my wall set, okay? Goal being, guys, Back flat to the wall, don't move your feet. All right, chest up, and hold. As soon as I want to either A, come up here a little bit and relieve some of the tension, or I fall to the floor, all right, that would be when I would take my rest and then go back to my burpees, okay? So we'll be doing that for set one, five minutes, okay? Set number two is a slip squat jump, all right? So, front and vertical, all right? On that back toe, we'll drop down, drive up. All right. If I can't jump, all right, I'll step and switch, or I can stand on one side. All right. As long as I can, again, as soon as I need to stop, shake out my leg, whatever it happens to be. All right. I'm going to rest, take a little 10 second recovery, and then I'm going to B. B here, guys, is a tricycle crunch. All right. Think of it kind of like a bicycle, only you're going to do the tricycle, three movements on one side. So, as I come up, right, I pull the knee, opposite elbow, same elbow, opposite elbow, out, and then we go to the other side, okay? So here. Okay, so it should go, so much that bicycle comes, right? Right knee, left elbow, all right? Then you're gonna do right elbow, then left elbow again, out and switch it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing three taps per knee as they come in and out. Okay, as soon as we need to rest during that uh, during that crunch, after giving out, we stop, we rest, we go back to the split squat jumps. Okay, so that is set number two. Set number three, we have a squat press. So we grab your dumbbells. Okay. Flash leg forward, all right, we want to make sure the dumbbells are facing out, not down, all right, high on the shoulders. 
Feet on shoulder width apart, drop, drive, return to the shoulders, okay? As soon as that comes to the point where they shake out my arms, I've got to stop, whatever it happens to be, again, I'll stop and I'll move on to B. Guys, if you don't have big dumbbells, maybe dumbbells too heavy for that, then we have at home, you can use the band also. Step into the band, hands just outside the knees, pull it up across the chest. Band should be tight against the chest, elbows tucked into the ribs. Squat, drive up from there. Same thing, as soon as we need to rest, we stop and change. All right, so A, squat and up press. B, hollow hold, all right. So laying down, legs up, I want my head and shoulders off the ground, so I don't want to be down here reaching. I want to elevate, engage the core, so pull my ribs down towards my pelvis, arms up to the top of the head, you know, hold as long as you can until either A, we have to change the position. So if I'm here, right, and I start to lose it and I shorten my knees up a little bit, that's my rest, that's me changing position, that means it's time to move into the other exercise, okay? Guys, do not press through and try to keep going. If your low back starts to come off the ground and you start to feel pressure in your lower back, that happens, change exercises. Don't just try to push through to push through, okay? If you need to take that recovery, good, good quality movement, all right? Take the recovery right now and then go back into your head, okay? So, you have uh, your hollows and squat press. Step number four, okay? Kettlebells. We got our swings, okay, kettlebell, 10 to 12 inches up from the toes, so in front of me, hips back, back flat, eyes are down the top, heavy heels, light toes, snap through, drive it up, eyes are down as you go down, press them up as you come up, snap hard through the hip, so as I swing, I'm pushing from here, I'm not lifting, and I'm not squatting. Hips move horizontally, not vertically, okay, so back and forth for that swing, okay, again, as soon as I need to stop and rest, maybe it's just my forearms, I still need to change exercises, all right? So once I finish my swing, band pull parts, all right, get that close to your chain. You guys, when you grab onto your band, just your hands should only be as wide as your shoulders, right? So if I put my hands right by my pockets, all right, that band should be tight across my legs, right? It should be out here with that band slapped, right? So hand right by, band's tight across me, then come up in front, pull it open, all right? And we're going to go as long as I can until my shoulders fatigue, and then I'll go into my kettlebell swings again. All right, with your bands, very right, guys, you can either double up or single up, I'll be up to you. Okay? Final one. All right, we have jump squats. Be my shoulders apart, drop down, drop it up, make sure it's a squat, not a bunny hop. Okay? It's a jump squat, so get a full squat all the way down. Then jump off the ground, okay? If impact's an issue, we go up onto the toes, like we're about to jump, without jumping, okay? It's as close to leaving the floor as you can without actually uh, creating the impact, okay? So jump squats, as soon as we fatigue, we need to stop, we're down on the ground, wrist shoulder stack, belly button nice and tight, it's a plank position first, then knees up towards the chest, you get going, mountain climbers, okay? Guys, as soon as you start your mountain climber, as soon as the legs stop moving, that's your rest. Even if you're still in that plank position, you are resting from the mountain climber, it's time to change exercises. All right, so questions, comments, concerns about uh, today's workout. What can I do instead of mountain climbers? Uh, you can go into the uh, plank jacks. You can still step out. Do you step out? No, it's the toe. No? Low plank, uh, go to a low plank. Do tap outs. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, uh, what's the rest in between the five minutes? One minute between each set. Okay. All right. Questions, comments, concerns? We're good? All right. Let's lay down on that right side. We'll start with our uh, windmills, getting that thoracic spine moving. So lay down. All right. Arms up front. Guys, I'm not just spinning the arm, I'm reaching forward, getting as much of as I can forward, as I roll back, I get my back to the floor, come back around. So it's opening the chest, moving the shoulder, but also creating momentum, movement in the spine.
Two, one, let's roll over to the side. Three, two, one, lay down on your stomach. And on your swingers, right arm, left leg, so toes into the shins, see the butt deep, see the shoulder, and then pull your chain out. Two, one, switch sides. There you go. Pull back on that hamstring. Get that good hamstring stretch. Drop that chest in. Feel the stretch along those adductors inside the hip. Take it back as far as you can with your legs straight. When they start to bend, that's the end of your range of motion. Two, and stand it up. Step back right, reach over left, open the hips. I'm trying to push away from that hip. Open up, open the sides. You guys reach up and over. I want you to think about it almost like you're reaching over for like a seat belt. Okay, so you're going up and over your shoulder. Not just turn them. All right, guys, here we go. Last one. We're going to get that heart rate up. Yeah, go to the side, bring it up, pull it down. Let me set the jump jacks. Let's go. Wanna start jacking up that heart rate? Get the body ready to move. Good, three. Two, one, and rest, guys. All right. Sure you guys got a spot on the wall or something you can uh, lean up against. All right. 
So five minutes, all right? Burpees, go as long as you can without changing cadence or resting, all right? Here we go. Starting in 10. Four. There we go, three, two, one, and let's go. There it is, guys, get them down, all right? Trying to go as fast as you can, all right? Working as hard as you can. As soon as that max effort is exhausted, that's when you change exercises. Yo, guys, some work, nice work, guys. Come on, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. There you go. Keep those hands off the knees, Jackson. Bring your help. There you go. Use those legs. There it is, guys. Nice work. First minute down. Yo guys, nice work, come on. Trying to force you to hold out as long as you can. Remember, we're trying to work the entire five while getting as few sets as possible. Nice job, guys. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. At that halfway point, let's go. Some work, guys. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Let's go. Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Here we go, here we go. There you go. Get it down there. All right, Let's try to get 90 at those knees, guys, right? 90 at the knees for those uh, wall sets. All right, make them count. Let's go. Nice job, there you go, there you go. Fight through them, fight through them. As soon as you take that rest, you change it to that other exercise. There you go, keep it up. You guys are heading into the last minute of work. Some work, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's go.
20 seconds. Try to fight through whatever you're at. Stay there and keep working. Come on. Finish the workout. Finish it up, guys. Come on. Last set. Here, last five seconds. Stay in it. Four, three, two, and rest. First five minutes down, guys. We got split squats and um, tricycle crunches. Breathe it in, you got one minute of rest, all right? Use it. You know, the legs are feeling heavy right now. We gotta use them for the next five minutes, so let them rest. We're on the split squat, right? Yep. Here we go, guys. Split squats, tricycle crunches. Three, two, one, let's go. There you go, guys. Nice work. So as soon as that cadence changes, that's when we change exercises. That right, is good. Pull that knee in. Nice shot. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go, guys. Nice work, nice work. Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Greg, what can I do instead of um, lunges? Squats? I mean, we got jump squats later. I mean, how do you, how about using the uh, bottom step of your uh, stairs there for a little step up? That okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Hey, we're nice cadence. Keep them going. Come on. Nice work, Jack. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Come on, Sheila. I know you love these tricycle crunches. Let's go. Hey, yo, guys. You're two minutes in. Let's go. Keep up. There you go, Wilder. Good range of motion. Keep them up. There you go, guys. Two minutes.
Last 30 seconds, guys. Come on, sell it out, sell it out, sell it out. Let's go. There you go, dig it to the end, dig it to the end. Let's go. Nice shot. There you go, Melissa. Good. Come on, 15 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Breathe it in, guys. One minute of rest. We got squat and press and hollow holds next. So either dumbbells or bands, whatever works best for you, all right, depending on what you have available. All right, can I use one dumbbell or do you want me to use the band? Uh, probably use the uh, band because I'd rather have your shoulders open versus in here. Is that full squat or just a shoulder press? Breaking up on me while there. What was that? Oh, is it a full squat or just a shoulder press? Uh, squat and press. So you can go all the way down and press up. All right, guys, here we go. Bands or dumbbells, whatever works best. We got those bands. Make sure the band comes down, pulls tight across your chest when you squat. There it is, good squats, nice job. As soon as that cadence changes, guys, right? We go into the hollow hold. You're gonna fight as long as you can. Keep the quality high, all right? As soon as that quality breaks down, that's when we change. Hollow hold. Shoulders up off the ground, all right? We're pulling the ribs down towards the pelvis. Gonna engage the core to lift the shoulders off the floor. There you go, guys. As soon as you start to feel any pressure towards your back and you got to change anything because it's fatiguing, all right, that's time to change exercises. Nice work, guys. Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Yo, two minute warning. Nice work, guys. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. Come on.
90 seconds. And rest. Nice work, guys. Breathing in. So we got kettlebells. All right, so we're swinging, and then we have pull aparts. Remember, guys, pull apart. I want those arms to be straight. All right, they should only be as wide as your shoulders. So I don't want to be way out here when I grip that band. I should grip the band in here so I get full range of motion all the way down to my chest. Okay? So. We got swings and pull aparts. Here we go, starting in 15 seconds. We go three, two, one, let's go. Hips and back, backs are flat, drive those hips through, let's go. We go guys, swing it, swing it, swing it, let's go. Keep those shoulders nice and tight. Remember, ass to the wall, chins down, hits back. All right. We're going to flex from the hip, not from the spine. All right. As soon as you fatigue on those, you're into those pull aparts. Get those shoulders going. Get that posterior chain active. Wow, then drop it to one band and grab closer so you get more range of motion. There you go, guys. Good. As soon as you fatigue on that band, you're back to your swings. As soon as the arms want to bend, the shoulders want to rest, whatever it is. All right, as soon as our form breaks off, all right, we start to lose quality. Then we go back into the other exercise. Keep those arms nice and straight, Jack. All right, we don't want to turn it into a tricep exercise. Yep, there you go. It is good. Follow through those hips. Squeeze that butt nice and tight. 
Very good. So if you're not feeling your glutes at the top, you're not using them, all right? I want that butt cheek to squeeze nice and tight at the top of that range of motion. All right, abs are tight, ass is tight. Feel them both. Two minutes. Yeah, Melissa, just throw that band down. <laughs> I swear, guys, keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. 90 seconds. Yo guys, 30 seconds. There you go, come on, hold out, hold out, fight through, fight through, right? Keep them tight. Everything on that backside working today right now. All right, from the shoulders all the way down to the hamstrings, keep them going. Eight seconds. Three, two, and rest. Nice work, guys. Last sets. We got jump squats and mountain climbers. Let those arms recover a little bit, guys. Now, if, you, if you're feeling antsy, guys, you want to add some weight to your jump squats, go ahead. <laughs> there we go. Let's get it. Last five minutes. There you go. Get that full squat. Get those butts down. Squats, not bunny hops. Oh, the legs. Let's go. There you go. Mountain climber as long as you can without breaking anything down, right? As soon as the knees stop moving or we got to rest, we're back up onto it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, come on.
Nice work, guys. Two minutes in. There we go. There we go. Nice work, guys. Come on, keep monkey, monkey, muck. Halfway there. Heather, go into a low plank tap out instead of the mountain climbers. Keep your hips out of it. So low plank, tap in front of you. Stabilize those hips, nothing should rock. There you go, guys. Good. Come on. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Last two minutes. When you need that rest, take that rest, right? Then move on to the next exercise. Ninety seconds, guys. Come on. Nice work, nice work. Keep digging, keep digging. Come on. Stay outside that comfort zone right to the end. Twenty-five seconds. Awesome work, guys. Keep digging, keep digging. Come on. All right, mental games right here at the end. Twenty seconds to work hard. Let's go. Ten seconds, don't back down right now. Let's go. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Four, three, two, and rest. All right, guys. Take a breather. All right. So finisher wise, what we got? We're going to bottom style. 20 on set off. Okay. First one we're gonna do, guys, all right, is um, you can either use a dumbbell, all right, if you're not feeling the safety of the dumbbell, you can use like a band, you can do line hops. So we're gonna take the dumbbell, all right, place it down, all right, feet tight together, and I'm just gonna go, okay, fast as I can, back and forth over that, okay? Then, still keep the dumbbell down, all right, I'm now in a bear crawl position, all right, jump over, back and forth in a bear crawl position, okay? So we're, we're doing a line hop from a standing position, all right? And then essentially it's a kind of like a donkey kick, uh, but you're gonna use that same line and go over back and forth in a bear crawl position, okay? So you have 20 on, 10 off, four rounds of each, four minutes, and we're done. I'm going for a run. Huh? I'm going for a run that will kill my hips. Okay. All right. Have a good one. You too. Hey, what can I do instead of the, the bear crawl? It's going to just kill my knees. Um, you want to do uh, from the, uh, you know, can you do plank hops from plank position? If you're fully extended, will that feel better? I mean, that'll suck worse, but yeah, <laughs> yes, I can do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Any other questions, comments, concerns? We're all excited? Okay, cool. All right, guys. Let's finish it off. Here we go. Starting at 10. 
Line out to start. You go five, four, three, two, one, and go. Finish your can, guys. Back and forth, right? Let's go. There's your feet touch. Touch go, touch go, touch go, touch go, touch go, touch go. Three seconds. Down. Bear crawl position. All right, we're going back and forth. And go. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And up. One set down, guys. And go. There it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. If you ever ski, just be like going on moguls right now. We're going down. Now get a little hip twist. Come on. Three seconds. Bring it to the floor. There we go. Three, two, one, go. There it is, there it is. Come on, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, guys. Come on, keep working, keep working, keep working. Two, rest. Halfway. You got this, you got this. Come on, let's go. Round five. There you go, guys. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Rest. Here we go. Two, one, go. It's good. Come on. Keep that hop going. Keep that hop going. Fight through. Fight through. Fight through. You got four seconds. Rest. Last sec, guys. Come on. 40 seconds of work left. That's it. Two, one, go. Nice job, guys. Come on, finish strong, finish strong. Rest. That's it, last 20 seconds of work. Best 20 seconds you got right now. Last set, best set, best effort. Go. What's your hardest 20 seconds look like, guys? Come on, this is it, this is the finish. All right, there's nothing left after this. 10 seconds, give me your best effort. Finish strong, five, four, Three, two, and done. I hate you. Okay, oh, I miss you too, Melissa. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get a little stretch on. All right, we'll start with some hip flexors and uh, quads. So, half kneeling position. All right, right knee down. You go down with that right toe in the ground also. All right, a little more stretch on the hip. Squeeze butt, shift forward. Reach it forward. Right knee down, right arm, reach up. Make sure you squeeze that butt cheek nice and tight. Now open up that left flexor. Three, two, we're going to shift back into the hamstring. So we're standing on that same side and then rock right back into it. Three, 
Two, switch sides. Right knee down, left toe in the ground. Squeeze the left butt cheek, shift forward, then reach up. One last squeeze. Thanks, Greg. Have a great weekend. You too, dude. And shift back the hamstring. Sorry, Greg. I've had a lot of kids asking me questions this whole time. And they're, they're taking a quiz. Huh? huh? They're trying to teach and work out at the same time? Yeah, it's mostly that they're taking a quiz and, like, operating the – the website it's on, and I have to make sure they're not running into trouble. Hang so when you're asking me questions, I have to attend to that. As you're hanging, take that deep breath in. So expand your ribs, push into your hamstrings. Exhale, let your body fall. So kids, you know, they're easy, they can figure it out. <laughs> oh, you believe, they're so helpless, it's unbelievable. And rest, guys. Awesome work, guys. All right, Friday. Friday. Oh, okay. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank yeah, you. you too, See ya. Bye, Bye, Greg. I still hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, I don't know what I did. Hey, you turned off your, your camera. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You survived there or what? Oh my God, I did a double workout yesterday. I worked out in the morning and then ran like six and a half miles last night. I'm dead. I'm sure your legs are feeling heavy as hell when we started this workout. They're killing me, oh, every part of them. I have the worst running shoes, so my feet hurt, my toes. How are your knees doing? They hurt. It's like right across the kneecap, mostly. Is that where, where was your, uh, your work done though on your knee? Is right that above like, it. Right above it? Yeah, like right in the quad, they cut through the quad tendon there. Yeah. But yeah, that leg just, I don't think it's ever going to be the same, but I don't actually, I, like beyond physical therapy, I never really did the other. The other things. stuff. And you've told me things to do and I don't think I've done those either. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No. Can you keep the quads loose then uh, with all the work that we just did and like with your running and shit like that? Um, definitely foam roll stretch your quads a lot today. Uh, or you're going to start pulling on the kneecaps and it's going to start pulling on like that, uh, that scar tissue. So make sure you're working on that and your calves. Because from yesterday's work, especially your running and then today's work, you're getting a lot of the, the quad and the calf going. Yeah. Which, if those are extra tight, they throw off the roll to glide ratio in the knee, and then you're not going to feel good. So, really, it's just keeping those muscles loose so they're not pulling on the joint itself. Yeah, I will admit I've been doing a very poor job of uh, before and after stretching with, with anything. Like running, working out, nothing. I'm like barely doing any stretching. Well, I try to get you guys at least warmed up a little bit before we start. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Oh, I'm dead. All right. Well, foam roll, stretch it out. Take like 10 minutes right now. I'm going to. Literally, these two animals, I don't even know if you can see them. Oh, I saw them before. <laughs> Just hanging out in bed? Yeah, this is like my spare bedroom that I don't really use anymore. You're, you're working. Hey, Greg. Hey guys. My workout. <laughs> they have their headphones in. They're clueless. All right. Uh, oh, little back crack. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> enjoy your uh, enjoy your Friday alone day. All right, you too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.